Introduction to ANSYS Fluent, Lecture 2, Introduction to the CFD Methodology. In this lecture, we will present an introduction to the CFD methodology. The theme of the lecture is that all CFD simulations follow the same key basic stages, and this lecture will explain how to go from the original planning stage to analyzing the final results. In the lecture, you will learn the basics of what CFD is and how it works, and also the different steps involved in a successful CFD project. The objective is that when you begin your own CFD project after the training, you'll know what each of the steps requires and be able to plan accordingly. Computational Fluid Dynamics, or CFD, is a method to predict fluid flow, heat and mass transfer, chemical reactions, and other related phenomena. It does this by solving equations representing conservation of mass, conservation of energy, of momentum, and whatever else is being transported in the flow. CFD has many uses throughout all stages of the engineering process, including conceptual studies of new designs, detailed product development, optimization, troubleshooting, and redesign of products. Finally, and this is important, CFD complements testing and experimentation by reducing the total effort and cost that's required to perform experiments and make lab measurements. It does not eliminate the need for testing and experimentation, but it can help to reduce the total number of tests that need to be conducted, and it can provide a wealth of information about the performance of a device or system that can be difficult to obtain experimentally. Since we are talking about the CFD approach, it makes sense to begin with a brief description of how CFD works. The ANSYS CFD solvers are based on the finite volume method, and the way this method works is you take the system you want to study, this is also known as the domain, and you discretize it into a finite set of control volumes. You can see this on the right, the domain is part of a tube, and you can see from the mesh lines that there's a large number of mesh cells or control volumes. In fluent the control volumes are the mesh cells themselves. If you happen to be familiar with CFX, the control volumes are slightly different, but the basic idea is the same. Once we have a domain and a mesh, we need to consider the equations that govern flow and transport in the domain. These equations include conservation of mass and momentum, and then possibly also energy and species, depending on the specific problem that we're solving. For each control volume in the domain, we can write a transport equation in general form, as you see in the box, where the equation contains terms for the rate of change in the control volume, convection and diffusion through the faces of the control volume, and also terms, source terms that represent generation or destruction, such as body forces or energy released by chemical reactions. In the equation, if you take phi and replace it with the corresponding quantity from the table here, then you have either the continuity, momentum, or energy equations. Now these are partial differential equations, but after they're discretized, they become a system of algebraic equations where the solution for a given cell depends also on the solution in its neighboring cells. In reality, it's a bit more complicated than that because the equations are nonlinear, but that's the basic idea. So once we have this system of algebraic equations, we use numerical methods to solve all of the equations, and that gives us the CFD solution. 